चाहिए ओके सो वट डू वी ट्राई टू फाइंड अंडर आर फिंगर्स सो वन द पेशेंट सेट इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू वट आर वी सपोज टू फाइंड विद आर फिंगर्स जस्ट देर वे बी आर्टरी इन हिज फोर आर्म बट वट वी डू विद इट हाउ डू वी सपोज टू फाइंड समथिंग ओके फर्स्ट दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू आर रिमेंबर आई एम श्योर यू हैव द हैंड आउट ओके द शेप एंड द जम्प एंड द लेवल The shape. How many shapes we can have? Oh, there are a lot of shapes. At least we have. Uh, we have. Uh, Tina and Lily has already narrowed down a very, very, very useful uh, package for you, like a dictionary. We have all the uh, explanation for the for the shape for you. But basically, it's a straight shape. Of course, the shape. The artery, artery for for blood flowing. Of course, it's supposed to be shaped. Uh, straight, but not necessarily. We have a lot of interesting things. We have we can have this in the paws. We have uh, beans in the paws. We have a lot of strange things happen inside or outside the shape of the the, the artery. So the shape can be straight or can be convex or can be concave, like this, like that, or can be like the beans or can be shapeless. There's no shape. There's no boundary. You cannot find a shape of the pulse. Oh, this is shape. Okay, definitely. When you touch it, you, you don't have to see it, but but you can feel this is shape. Sometimes you cannot feel the shape of the artery, the vessel. That's very funny. So this is the beyond the imagination, but it really in the real world it happens. So the 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 shape can be straight, convex, concave, uh, like convex like this, concave something like this. And the shape this. In this condition, when we take the pause, we should do some imagination. We should imagine there are three springs under each finger. Three fingers. We have three springs, just like a trumpet. Trumpet is too expensive. Otherwise, otherwise I would have bought one. <laughs> the, the, the three. Uh, three springs. They have rebound to each uh, each of your fingers. So the three fingers, I mean the three springs, might not be with the same strength. The rebound might not be the same. Maybe one spring is broke. So the one, the, the the maybe the middle one is broke. So you got a feeling like this: that the spring is weak and broke, and the other one, other two are strong. So you 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 get a feeling like this when you touch down, and this is what we call concave. And maybe the middle finger, I mean the middle spring is too strong. The, the pause will be like this. The middle section is re, is very strong, and the rest of them are weak. So this is what we call convex. The pause become like this. It's the jump and the feeling. Oh, I did that. This is convex. So like we imagine, there are three springs under each finger. This is the finger. This is Chun. This is Guan. This is Shi. Huh? So this one, uh, say this spring is too strong, or this two spring are too weak. So the vessel, the jump of the vessel, become like this. This is what we call convex. That means something in a pathological condition. By this, then you'll be able to tell your patient, hey, you have this, you have this, you have this something. If, for example, if this part pause happen <coughs> on the left Guan. The liver area. That means definitely this guy is, or this lady is having some quick temper, stress out, emotional dis、uh, disturbance, and all those things. And concave one will be、uh, on the opposite. So we do things、uh, this. Like I said, I tell them that for the treatment classes, I t- I always tell them that we do things mechanically. What do I mean mechanically? Like this, this chun, guan, chi. Okay, so w- w- I didn't I didn't draw the、uh, the fingers.、It's、supposed to be a finger here, a finger here, a finger here. Chun guan chi. So this this middle one, this this spring is broke. So there's no power to 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 bounce back. So in this case,、uh, we call it a concave. If this one, for example, if this pause happens. On the left one, there's definitely anxiety and depression because it's depressed. The the shape is depressed.、It's、that in re- real condition we call it depression. And this this patient definitely will have this kind of symptoms. 
And <clears throat> like I said, for the treatment, we do it mechanically. If it is too down, we push it up by using some clearing uh, method or tonifying method, depends on the condition. We make this spring back to normal. When this pulse back to normal in the in a level, same level, then the sickness is gone, and the symptoms will also be much better. So this is the uh, this this I'm just showing that this might happen in a in a real pulse. Even the pulse is supposed to be a straight vessel that transferring the uh, blood, but actually actually it can be like this. Very funny, huh? Okay. What? Yeah, it's possible. <coughs> the question, yeah, good question is, can the convex pulse and a concave pulse be together within one position? Yes, exactly. How can that be? There's only one blood vessel. Uh -huh. There can be. You're asking about two conditions in one. Can you get a photo again? I mean, the yes, uh, this one. This concave, that's a good question. There can be an also a, concave, a convex pulse there. Actually, there can be three, or sometimes it's four, but let's get it easier. Two is, is, is confusing enough, right? <coughs> when you have a little bit, for example, this lady has a bad temper. If your girlfriend with this, uh, uh, this floating convex liver fire, be careful. You can have a lot of fight. Because that can be the emotional condition, a little bit uh, quick temper and all the stress and nervousness. And for this, this, she might have a fatty liver, she might have a Meniere syndrome, a dizziness for lady or something, or she might have a, a gallbladder problem at the same time. Can she? Of course she can, right? She, she can have all those problems at the same time, with a temper problem, with a, with a gallbladder problem, with a dizziness problem, inner ear balancing problem, with a fatty liver something. Of course, those pores can appear at the same time. Okay? Thick and thin, refer diameter. So, so it's, it's very difficult to tell you what diameter, diameter it might, might have because we cannot show you. But this is, uh, according to this, this is thick, there's no doubt. And this is thin, there's no doubt. Okay? This is thin. So that's about it. So the thinnest can be uh, like um, like a paper of a, uh, like edge of the paper. So the paper might give you a paper cut. So is this pulse. If it is that thin and strong, they might cut your finger. It's about something like that. A large limit. So the thickness always. So, for example, you say, "Hey, your pulse is thick." That doesn't mean anything. Thick what? Thick strong, or thick slow, or thick weak, or thick deep, or thick superficial. It's just one word, thick, or you're not thick, or normal. I mean, this diameter is normal. doesn't mean his body is normal. That we have to combine, like what? For example, the, you already make the decision that pause is thick. Thick, thick. And what else you should do to make a complete uh, pause signs? Jump and level, right? The thick pulse is different or with a different meaning when it's floating or deep, when it's strong or weak. So you have to get the complete sign with the shape and signs uh, and jumps. I've been trying to tell all my students for the past 30 years. <laughs> Not very much people pay attention to it. So they always ask strange questions. What makes a pulse thick? Heat, inflammation, increasing pressure, expanding. I use this word a lot, expanding, in chado, because it feels like so. Sometimes it's in one position. For example, if you hurt your neck yesterday, then the pulse will show something expanding because your muscle is inflamed, inflammation down there, up there. So what position will have this condition? You twist your neck. That's supposed to be on the right, right? So next time, if the patient t uh, tells you, hey, doctor, I twist my back yesterday doing the gardening. So where to look? Left. There's got to be some expanding condition because the muscle is inflamed. Then 
we do it mechanically. We do things to shrink it and to get rid of the fire and to get rid of the pain and the, the, the injury, whatever. Just, uh, just some music. Uh, yeah, hyper. And also, a thick pulse can be hard, can be soft. What if the pulse is, how, 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 how come the pulse can be like this? Thick and soft, this is, this is quite hard. We, we don't say this is thick. But if somebody pulses like this, this guy definitely have a lot of cholesterol, triglyceride, and blood pressure problem because the elasticity and the transportation and the nervous system has uh, a lot of blockage in there. But, for example, you are, if you're normal, your blood pressure is okay, you're young and strong, like most of you, you can create a thick and not so hard pulse by drinking some something. For example, if you drink six packs of beer, you definitely have a thick but not hard pulse. Very soft but fast and thick pulse. Afterwards, you'll be fine. You can create that, huh? Or it's, if you don't, it didn't, you're not drinking anything, the qi deficiency vessel will become just a plastic and lose elasticity. And that's soft. So you'll be, a, you, you'll be very tired all the time, no qi. You'll be short of breath, you cannot gather your qi like we do the qi gong or something. That's our principle to, to maintain the, the concentration of the qi. Then your qi is disappeared in the air. So we have to use something to bring it back or certain expanding condition in the body, like taking some medication. If the thick pulse appear on the qi area, which it should not have, that maybe you have a little bit of uh, hormone problem, or you're taking hormone or something for that condition. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, this expanding, I use this word a lot on my evaluation sheet because many, many patients have that problem. But let's try to imagine this. Even a weak, cold person with a, with a very low blood pressure might have a little bit upper respiratory infection, might have a stomach infection or, or colitis or something. So in that certain part, you will have a, 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 she will have a, a expanding pause even though originally she's very weak and tired and cold. But under a certain sickness, that certain area will become expanding, the pulse. So maybe this is Chun Guan Ci. She's suffering from a, a gastro ulcer or, or something. The Guan area may be boom, 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 boom. The rest of them might still remain cold and weak. So that, that can happen on the very weak pulses too. So be careful. Just anything can happen. If yesterday it starts to twist the neck and reach in, yeah. Thick and hard. Thick and not hard. Okay. Thick is just one word that describes the diameter. There's nothing said about its jump and its quality. But the big pulse is a special term for my pulse system. The, actually, it's the number one. That means thick and strong and hard. That's the that's the condition for a high blood pressure person with the heartbeat rate fast and with a kind of a critical condition of getting stroke or something. So this big pulse, I think I am capital in Bashi. That's a special pulse. This is just, uh, just a word for adjective. What's <laughs> The thin and thick, that we talked about already. Thin pulse refers to constriction of the artery. The, uh, the entire artery is narrow and in diameter. That's, that means something like this. This is not exaggerating. This is the true condition, the thick. The thin, this is thin pulse. But sometimes it can be thinner than this. So it's thin and hard, like this. Like the guitar string. This very hard, right? You cannot, uh, you don't have to. Uh, this is, I have no doubt this is very hard because you push down, it might cut your fingers somehow, like this. So, this can be thin and hard and can be thin and soft. So, can anything, just thin, just weakness and uh, can be so constricted. So, when we're dealing with this kind of condition, that, like we said in Chinese, uh, in acupuncture theory, the stagnation causes pain. 
So definitely when you have this such thin pulse, you will have this patient will have pain in that certain area, Chun Guan Si. So I always deal with the, this kind of pain, with this kind of stagnation. This is not blood stagnation. It's constriction of the uh, transportation, like a traffic jam. The highway used to be six lanes. Now it becomes one lane. Oh, definitely there will be a jam. So I use Dang Gui and Chuan Xiong, something like opener to open up the channel and make the blood flow or the qi flows better and the pain will go away. That's, that's what we do, like this. Uh, like I said, do it mechanically. And chronic stagnation causing uh, yeah. blockage uh, deprives the two tissues the location, yeah. resolving damage generation and narrowing of arteries. Sometimes it's just artery, sometimes it's the channel. Whatever is narrowed is no good. We call it a constriction. In Chinese medicine, we call it overly uh, constricted. It's a very bad condition because like the like the road, like the street, like the highway. If there's no, the road all blocked, all, all, all stuck, then the city will die, right? There's no business to do with the, the blocked tra traffic. So whenever there's a thin pause, it's a bad condition for human body because the, all, each organ cannot get enough oxygen, cannot get enough nutrition, all the waste cannot be transported out, out of the organ, so all the stagnation will become and all the heat will, will accumulate and the function will go directly down. So that's a very bad condition. We hate constrictions. So when we deal with the very thin pulse, somehow we should try to open it with the opener. Like Dang Gui and Chuan Xiong, this is a very commonly used uh, formula. Okay, question?